about it, Mom. What? Jupiter and Saturn, they're going to be passing each other really closely and it's called the Bethlehem Star. Yes. And you know what? It's going to be the closest meet in 400 years. Really? Wow! It's going to be a really bright star then, hey? For sure. We must keep our eyes open for that. Eh? Yeah. But wasn't there another bright star in history? Now remember. Come, let's grab our Bibles and let's read about the bright star that guided the wise men to Jesus. Our reading is from Matthew 2 verses 1 to 2 and verses 9 to 11. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose, and have come to worship him. After listening to the king, they went on their way. And behold, the star that they had seen when it rose went before them until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and worshipped him. Then opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. So that was the other bright star. God had placed that star in the sky for the wise men to follow and find Jesus. And when they found him, they worshipped him. But did you know that not only was there the star for the wise men to follow, but Jesus was also known as the star of David and the light of the world. I will make you as a light for the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. The true light which gives light to everyone was coming into the world, and to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Jesus is our light shining through the darkness and sin we are in. When we trust in him, he saves us from the sin and darkness, and we can then turn around and walk in the light of Jesus' salvation through his death on the cross. We begin to follow Jesus, our light, just like the wise men followed the bright star. Jesus taught us how to follow him in Matthew 5. You are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men, that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Hmm. So Jesus said, we need to be a light to the world, just like him. Wow. So that's three lights so far. It's the star that the wise men followed. It's Jesus, the light of the world. And now us. What does it mean to be the light of the world? How can one be a light of the world? In the verse, Jesus said that our good works, shining before others, is a light. Then others can see God's light shining through us, and that leads them to him. Wow. So, we do what Jesus did, and by doing good things that glorify God with all our hearts, mind, and soul. Galatians 5 verse 22 to 23 helps us see how we can shine our light to others by loving them, being joyful, being peaceful, being patient, kind, good, faithful and self-controlled. Here is a verse that will help you remember to be a star for Jesus. Do all things without complaining or arguing, that you may be blameless and pure, children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world. Jesus is the light that shines in darkness so that we may find our way. He gives 
Jesus life, his word is true, he's full of grace and glory, the son of God. Time for a recap, guys, to make sure that we don't forget the lesson. First, we learnt about the wise men who followed the star to find Jesus. In the same way, we must also follow Jesus, the light of the world, so that we can be saved from our sin and darkness. But how do we follow Jesus? By being a light to the world, just like Jesus Christ, by sharing his good news with everyone, and by loving the Lord our God with all our heart, soul and mind in everything that we do. Let's ask God to help us to do just that. Dear God, thank you for being our light and salvation and that you came into the world to save us from our sin and make us your children. Sorry for all the times when we don't follow you and shine your light to the world. Please help us and strengthen us to follow you and to shine your light that is in us in all we do and say each and every day of our lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. Do all things without complaining or arguing, that you may be blameless and pure, children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation, among whom you shine as lights in the world.